Okay, so I low-key messed up my filming for this second month of week of workouts, but I'm back on track. This week, I'm actually going to be doing four training days, but that's just me getting back onto regular three-week split and then including swimming now. Your girl started back swimming. Not doing uh, classes, but I'm doing drop-in drop until... I can sign up for my spring classes, so I'm pretty excited about that there. I love, I, I don't know, I'm starting to like it. I, I wasn't a swimmer, never was a swimmer, scared of the water, could not swim, now I'm learning how to swim. So yeah, if you're new to the page, it's your girl Alicia, holistic nutritionist and personal trainer. Welcome to the community. We're probably going to do a lot more car <laughs> talks, just because the house can be a little bit busy. Um. And yeah, you guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I would love to get your guys' feedback on the program if you are doing it with me, what you guys would like to see more of, and yeah. Okay, so I forgot to film my warm up. But I guess we're just going to hop right into it. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging. I am going to set the link at the top right hand corner for mobility moves. You can choose between 5 or 15 minutes of mobility up to you. But please warm up before you start. So before I start, I definitely read the program wrong and started doing single arm chest press until I realized that was last program, <laughs> but I'm excited. We made it to day three of week of workouts for month two. Who is ready for an amazing month of February? I definitely am. What we have for the first superset is dumbbell chest press, two second pause at the bottom, and Bulgarian split squat. I just want to say I'm always wearing my Sia Fit Everybody Moves sweater, and I think it's time or soon to be time to make another collection. Anyways, we are doing chest press. We're doing them as a bilateral movement, creating full body tension, controlling the come down, pausing at the bottom for two seconds, squeezing the bum and using those heels to drive you through the floor to push the weights up. I saw a comment the other day on my Facebook reel that told me to stop arching my back. I want to make this clear. Arching the back can help with pulling your shoulders back and down in your starting position, which helps with keeping your shoulders in the position while you're lifting to prevent injury. Not everyone needs to have a flat back or an arch back. It is preference. But as a former power lifter, this is what I like to stick to. And this is what I was taught. Unless my lower back starts hurting me again, I'm going to stop. But arch is what I like. I don't know about you. But I've been seeing on Instagram lately that people strongly dislike Bulgarian squats and that they're a hard movement. Let me know in the comments on how you feel about them. I am team Bulgarians until my legs feel like jello. Just, just to put that out there. I stay a little bit more upright when doing these because I want to feel it more in my quads. If you're looking for more glutes here, shift your body weight a bit more forward and have more of a vertical shin. If this is your first time doing these, using a wall for support is always great or using no weights is a great way to start as well. When doing these, hold at the bottom for about a second and a half to two seconds and drive your heels through the floor to push you up. We are on to the next superset. We have half kneeling barbell shoulder press and kettlebell offset march. Single leg offset march. Sorry, I should say that. Story time. I used to love this variation of shoulder press, but it's been some time since I've done them. And this week, well, the first week of doing this, because I am in my third week now, starting off, it was a bit hard. I personally feel like I was ego lifting, having the 10 pounds on the bar, and I should have started with either a five pound or even a two pound, to be honest. it, The 10 pound really felt like it was 20 to 30 pounds on it, and I just didn't like it. I do progress in these. Again, I am in my third week now, but just wanted to be honest. There's never a need to ego lift. So take your time and progress accordingly, especially if you have not done a movement before or you haven't done them in a long time. In these, I try to focus on engaging my lats here. So instead of shooting straight up, 
I come around on a small crescent working the shoulder blade and engaging the lats. As you're in the half kneeling position, curl those hips under you and squeeze those glutes. Every time you push up slightly, transfer your weight forward. As you come down, transfer the weight back into your starting position. Y'all know me, I love anything with kettlebells and using the offset kettlebell single leg march is such a great way to incorporate core strength. With these, you want to stand up nice and tall, pushing away from the floor as you drive the opposite knee up. Try not to shift the hips or arch the back. If you find yourself arching, take a look at the weight that you're using and try starting with the lower weight. Again, do not ego lift. I feel like this should be the slogan for day three's workout. Do not ego lift. <laughs> Okay, beautiful people, we're almost near the end. I felt this day I was listening to the same song over and over again. I had to switch it up. So we have one more super set before we get into our cardio. Kettlebell cleans and barbell underhand grip row. Question, do we still call these or do we call these barbells? Either way, I am. Kettlebell cleans are nice and powerful, getting deep in the squat, pushing through the floor as you zip the kettlebell up to your chest. Keep the kettlebell close to you one thing I like to keep in mind when doing these is thinking I'm zipping up my jacket. Your shoulders will shrug as you come up and once your hands shift to the side of the kettlebell hook, your shoulders should be placed back down away from your ears. Now that I'm seeing these rows, I really wish I slowed down and held at the top, but this is why video feedback is so great and walking through them because you get to see where you have opportunities. Driving your hips back, keeping your chest parallel to the floor as you row the barbell should row toward your belly button and not your chest. This will ensure your elbows are rowing into your side pocket and not having your shoulders over rotate. Okay, unlike day one, we finished this day with Stairmasters again. I mean, we did do Stairmasters on day one, but we didn't finish the training day with Stairmasters, if that's that making sense. I hope you're keeping up. This program does call for 10 minutes of cardio or however you see fit two times out of the week. I like to personally keep it with my training days as on my active rest days, I'm going for walks in this cold, brisk weather and focusing on yoga or drop in swimming as well. But that is it, folks. That's it for the month. I'm super excited to see where we progress to, where you progress to. So leave a comment, tell me how you're doing, and I will see you in a few weeks in the new video of a recap to see how we did and what we progressed in. See you guys later. Love y'all. Mwah. <laughs>